Well, we're on our way. We got to make one stop right here at this post office box to drop off a letter. And then we're headed to the oak tree where the gray matter was living the other day. We might find some gray matter give us something to dig. I don't mind digging gray matter. I'd rather dig gray matter than that crap I dug yesterday. At least I know I'm finding something that I can get rid of. And every little piece of gray matter sounds different. And it's good training for your ears. The big solid gray matter sounds good. Gray matter with the brass eyes sounds different. Gray matter with the swivels still in them, they sound different. Gray matter is good training for anybody. I'll get back to you. Well, yesterday we didn't forget anything. Today, we forgot our chest mount again for our GoPro. So we have it in our hand. We'll see what goes on here. We got some breeze about 14 out of the northeast. You can see the beach is nice and wide. Stand by. Ah, ski baby. That little cut is uh, still here, appears to be. Well, there you go, see? We put it right there, that trash can. We walked about 20 feet. We got a 16. 16, nine scoops deep. One ounce of gray matter. Nice bank gray matter. Okay. Well, there's a gray matter. We moved two feet, solid nine. Stand by. I wonder what's at the end. Nice piece of rope. I wonder how deep it is. Or well, what is at the end down there? I think we should check it out. Stand by. Well, there it is, a concrete block. You hear it? See it right there? We'll salvage the rope. Well, I've been working along this edge for about 10 minutes. I haven't found anything yet. You see the tide is uh, kind of low. Way up there is a beach. Way up there. Stand by until we find some. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, false alarm. We got more salvage. But it's not my kind of rope. But there's another piece over here that's my kind of rope. I just don't know if I feel like digging it out or not. Got a nice piece running up here, but it's cut off right there and tied together. This piece right here is nice, that blue one. I don't know how deep it goes into that bank right there. Stand by, we'll make a decision. Well, it's too short. It goes into a big piece of, like, six by six. Tied off right there. If I tie it off, it ain't, it's only like five foot, six foot. That's too short. Okay. Well, it was two hours. Mainly exercise today. I did get a butterfly, hardly any gray matter. And it's 4.38, and we gotta get home before dark. You know what, you know what happens. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. 
Well, I think this rope was the best of it. I'm guessing 20 feet. 15 maybe. Over the years, That was a lot of rope. Nice piece of Samson. It's about 15 foot. Some more Samson. It's about 25 foot. Another piece up here. This is about 10 foot. I use my tie my tent down with at the, at the at the farmer's market sometimes. Tie it to the truck, you know, or tie it to the generator. I got weights for the corner, but I always carry some rope just in case. I just add this piece right in there after it dries out some in the nice warm sun. I won't say warm, just sun. I'll get back to you. Getting bleaker and bleaker. I don't know what that is. That's a butterfly. Split shot. Yep, no doubt, no question about it. The rope was the best of it today. But, now well, there's the crab meat. There's the clams. Well, I should say, there's the crab meat. I took it out of the can. One pound of lump. An egg. Some mustard. Some Durkee's famous sauce. Some breadcrumbs. Mix it up. That's it. Getting ready to head to the fire. You just put the fire on the clams. It'll be a while. Coming out of the pot into the bowl. They're ready. You don't like clams, Indian. No. 